Kim Mazur, and I'm a senior here. And I was asked to give this speech about why I relay. And I really struggled with that for a long time, actually right up until this morning. And um, I just had no idea how to articulate something so complex. So we all have a different story, and while I'm talking today, I want you to think about why you relay and what drives you to be here. When someone you love is diagnosed with cancer, your life changes immediately and forever. It makes you realize what is important and strive to live in a deeper and more meaningful way. Each moment's value increases tenfold, and we find hope in even the darkest corner. As Oris and Martin said, there is no medicine like hope, no incentive so great, and no tonic so powerful as the expectation of something tomorrow. On March 19, 2013, my grandpa, my hero, was diagnosed with stage 4 B-cell lymphoma. Almost overnight, the macho, fix-it-yourself Vietnam veteran that I've known all my life was transformed into something weak and vulnerable. His treatment caused him to develop a lethal bacterial infection in his brain with a 2% survival rate. I remember the fear of walking into the hospital room, knowing that it would be the last time I saw him. But I was wrong, and against all odds, my grandpa is here today, and cancer-free. All four of my grandparents have fought against cancer, and all four have survived. And I don't know what I would do without a single one of them. The message I want us to keep in mind today is not one of fear or pity, but one of hope. Yes, cancer sucks. It takes our livelihood and sometimes even our lives. But the moral of the story here is that we fight back. I'd like to ask you to think again about why you relay. Keep the person that you're here for in mind today as we remember, celebrate, and fight back for a cure. So with that in mind, um, I was in charge of contacting survivors so I'm going to read the survivors we have registered. There are going to be more, but I just want to recognize everyone who did sign up. And I apologize in advance if I murder your last name. Okay. Jonathan Demarest, Sylvia Cohen, Monique Reynolds, Stephanie DeVos, Leanne Liggett, Yay. Gary Strong, Ooh. Jacqueline Sykes, Christine Hawkins, Harvey Mason, Verna Mason, oh, and last but not least, our very own principal, Mrs. Martin. Alright, so let's get this party started. I want to invite all of the survivors and any supporting friends and family down to the track to line up to start our first lap. And I'd also like to invite all the teams back to their campsites to cheer on our survivors as they take their lap. Once we have completed, we invite teams to put their first person on the track to start the relay. And survivors, when you're done with the lap, I will be here to meet you and we are going to be serving you lunch. So thank you everyone for coming. Also, at the conclusion of this lap, we will be selling food at the Snack Shack and we have 